of a society that's melting Inevitably when you're trying to mix wealth in with poverty That's why I try to find ease and tell them Can't change where you're from, how you're raised Can't change how much your mother gets paid Can't change the mentality that's drilled in your brains But over time if you try, you can change the darkness of your days You weren't born criminally existed It's poverty my dealer It's the government my saviour The conservative is slacking The dice of life Roll the dice of life and see if you will get the life you would like. I've Live been but slacking. I haven't seen what's behind the doors. A different world I couldn't explore. What is it poverty that you can't afford? You can't afford Nike trainers? You can't afford to go on holiday? You can't afford a house? What is poverty? Yeah, we're at my old hostel. It feels weird to be back here. You know, I've been here for a while. Some neighbours and that. I know they used to hate us. But yeah, man. Everyone's asleep right now. You go into like, what's it called? Um, temporary housing. Like, you go out like, from when they find out like, you're homeless and you've got nowhere. And then they'll move you to a couple of hostels. Yeah. And then when you get your permanent hostel, you've got to be there for like. How long is it? Like two years or something? 18 months. 18 months or something? Before yeah, you can pay for this. Yeah, but only like five or a week yeah, or something. Yeah, they're on the streets to provoke total anarchy. These ends have even had me feeling close to insanity. I got kicked out when I was 11 by my family, but that's history. But, yeah, I've always wanted to live on my own. Parents in London, they don't, compared to other parents worldwide, I would say one of the worst parents. If you're brought up in London, it's harsh. Because I think parents in London are really, really selfish compared to other places. At least when they come here, they turn selfish. Why? I don't know. I guess it's just the way of life here. Everyone becomes selfish. Everyone wants what they want, innit? My, my way or no way, innit? I wanted to live my own. Got a hostel, but it's not. It's not nice, man. <laughs> so, to a certain extent, yeah, you got your freedom, but then what's your freedom when? Like shit. Look, kids are getting mistreated and have no, they're not getting the support and their family and their education. needs. Education and stuff, yeah. Medical treatment and. Some are sick and parents can't, like, don't do anything. You wake up one day and you're feeling, yeah, today I'm gonna apply for better jobs, I'm gonna have my CV out, da da da. Okay. First thing on your mind, you got connections, yeah? Because they got a whole load of stuff for you. You go there, all they do is stall you. They give you a whole load of paperwork. Not paperwork, just bare different apprenticeships or jobs and this and that. But then you flip through and then you realise that maybe 60, <clears throat> 60, 70% of them are expired. Mm. And they're just giving you that and go away for another half an hour, come back half an hour later and give you another bunch of papers to to go through like that will really really help you so you know we're doing a project about uh, poverty in london yeah you just want to know like what do you think about poverty in london well i think it's getting more difficult for young people actually because i do feel sorry for you guys because we're in a really bad recession aren't we you know as you all know about what's so, poverty let's... again when you haven't got much money and you can't buy food and stuff yeah. um so poverty i feel sorry bad. for you let alone the rest of the world because the less that we're producing then the less we're able to give money for for other countries as well but got a bit of a rough ride I think you guys and you've got to get your exams and stuff because um, there isn't that many jobs but it's worldwide it's not just us. Yeah. What it means to me I think it means is what you make yourself in it. That we're not poor in it that even if you're hungry we're not starving that people in Africa are starving we're not you know what I'm saying. Well in lots of different ways so in some ways just not having a good basic diet a lot of children have very very poor diet in London um, but also I don't know, a lack of love and a lack of care, lack of someone who's interested in them, who can, you know, help them achieve their full potential. I think a lot of people don't achieve their full potential in London. Do you feel that poverty in, in London is a big issue for young people? I think, po I, I think people don't really think about poverty in the UK. What's quite interesting about London is there's always poverty just around the corner. Because London is such a mishmash of uh, you know, nice posh areas, maybe, 
and then impoverished areas just around, around the corner. And lots of people I think uh, they don't want to do anything and they take advantage of the, the fact that the government give money to them, you know. What we have realised is that when people, young people turn up to a course and they haven't had any breakfast, mm. they haven't had any dinner from the night before, mm. they've got no travel, they've got to walk to the place. To me, that's poverty. Don't let the clothes fool you, you know? Mm. Just because man's busting Nike and this, no, we didn't get it the legit way, you know? 88%, mm. you jacked it and you know it. Mm. The other 12%, I you made a little money and you bought it. Cool, good for you. Mm. No, but, and most you these days, even when we get money, what do we spend it on? I have his clothes, drugs, alcohol, and women. And guess who influences that? Mm. The media, bro. <laughs> See all, all your favorite rap stars are doing it. So you're like, what? Well, I'ma jump in. Man. So, so what's the issues that young people are facing around it, with getting money and whatnot? And um, most people got criminal records, so they can't get a good job. Um, some people is lazy. It's, it's what you make of yourself, isn't it? Yeah, it's just that I'm, I'm retired and I, I've got quite a good pension having been a teacher, but I can still feel guilty at times because I know that there are people who've got less than me. So it's a difficult question now. I'm not quite sure. We're, we're all kind of involved in it. What, what comes to your mind when you hear poverty? Government. Well, government. And what do you think they can do to they change? Don't care. What do you they think they can do to change? Vote from, I don't vote, and I'm being honest, because the bottom of this country, I'm industry's made. What has this country done for me, and I've born and read here? Got me through poverty, and stress, and depression. If you've got money, because they say money talks, and I believe that. Like, people are held captive here, you know, ransom, to ransom. Money, 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 everything. Nobody had life. As if uh, there is another planet for human. Money is everything, and the more money people have, the more money more people don't have. That, that's how it works. The divide gets bigger and bigger. Okay. I live with my boyfriend in a one bedroom flat, and it costs about over a grand a month. Uh, a recession like this, worldwide recession, the government should be reducing bills, cost of uh, production and all this, and that is the only way they can get the economy going again. How do you think things could change? In this area? Yeah. I don't think it'll ever change, bud. Yeah? Nope. Why? Because the way people's minds, minds are set in it, like, this is happening, innit, like, crack rate, should I say. Like, there's a lot of drug takers, so people are going to supply them, so, like, it's easy money, for, especially on this road here, Clarence Road. It's, it's a bad place, so I don't think it will change, to be honest. But you ever know it's Hackney a bit cleaner now? Yeah, yeah, that's all a lie for the Olympics. It's all a, like, uh, come to Hackney, we don't have no crime, it's all beautiful. But it's a cover-up, really, isn't it? Sometimes I think it's like their own person's fault. So if they like get into drugs and stuff and then they lose their house and stuff, that's kind of their fault. But in other cases, it's like there's nothing they can do about it. It's just the circumstances they're in. Who do you think is responsible for property? Um, I think it's the government and I also think it's community. We, we can't put blame on, um, we can't point this as person is responsible or that person, but we can, all we can do is to do, to, to fix it, uh, to exact changes. Because um, if, you, if you see someone that is in need, and if you provide for them, if you help them, they will be, they will be able to at least uh, 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 do, um, find a, a reason to carry on. Businesses that don't give people like chances to have like experience in the workplace and stuff like that. What do you think the government could do about it or people in the community? What could the community do about it? Well, hopefully we, we've, you know, we've tried to address that by taking this step, mm. you know, by creating a place where young people um, or young adults really can come, find out a bit more about you know, what their opportunities are, um, what the routes to, to opening these opportunities are. And I think a lot of it is about, you know, especially what, you know, we focus on within the partnership and Calibre Minds in particular, it's around mentoring. You know, we've seen, for instance, the local authority here in Hackney, uh, they've reshaped their, their youth services. So their service now, which is Young Hackney, is quite bespoke. Each young person that comes through there gets an individual approach to dealing with their problem. And that's the route that we need to go down. We need to offer advice to young people, not just say, oh, you know, they're a waste of space, they're not doing anything, you know. 
find out, if we take the time to engage with young people, find out exactly what young people want to do and work with them. Say, look, you know, okay, you, you want a car, how are you going to get a car? People that's young, growing up, seeing people with big cars, big chains and nice watches and stuff, they don't want to work for a week to earn £150. Pounds, like. They don't want that, you can earn that in a minute. So, that's what's going to happen. Like. It's always going to be like that. That's what I think. So, what, what can people do? What do you think could be done to change the situation with poverty in London, with young people and whatnot? Invest in the young, because they're the next generation, isn't it? We're the ones that... They use the next politicians, the next scientists, the next doctors and everything. So, if you don't make us, like, into what we need to be, when the time comes for us to be what we need to be, we're not gonna we're not gonna have the abilities or the skills for it. A structure. That's all. That's what I want. A structure. I'm not sitting in the park drinking. But this is the time and place to be comfortable. It's for us to wake up, see the light, feel reality. I know that it begins within us, not around us. The poor get, get, poor, get poor and the rich get rich, ain't it? That's life, isn't it? In London, you just have to fight it, you know? Persevere, get a good education, but sometimes you get the education and then at the end of the day, you still can't, you know, get no job. So you just have to use talent then in between. If you have a bit of talent, then you try and, you know, make things happen. All right, boss? So it's just vice versa, you know? Mm. I think people should realize that we're more alike than we are different. No education, no money, no money, no food, no food, well, you all know how it ends. To, to be drinking, and over here, we waste food without thinking. Money, Leaving love and friends, food. all part of a good life. The bad life is hate, broken, suffering and strife. Today was really an eye-opener for me. I never thought this part of London now see. This is all just a massive game that they place us in. We receive a star to death or play to win. Only problem is the game is already fixed. To ostracize the poor and favor the rich. Debt and taxes keep you down while they able the pricks in wealth to gain wealth while we struggle in pain to exist. All the while still saying God save the queen. When it's business it's not royalty or governments who reign supreme. When it comes to money for welfare, they ain't as keen to provide cause keeping banks supplied is the main regime.